Days with Frog and Toad Contents Tomorrow The Kite Shivers The Hat Alone Tomorrow Toad woke up Drat he said This house is a mess I have so much work to do Frog looked through the window Toad you're right said Frog it is a mess Toad pulled the covers over his head. I'll do it tomorrow, said Toad. Today I'll take life easy. Frog came into the house. Toad, said Frog, your pants and jacket are lying on the floor. Tomorrow, said Toad from under the covers. Your kitchen sink is filled with dirty dishes, said Frog. Tomorrow, said Toad. There's dust on your chairs. Tomorrow, said Toad. Your windows need scrubbing, said Frog. Your plants need watering. Tomorrow, cried Toad. I'll do it all tomorrow. Toad sat on the edge of his bed. Blah, said Toad. I feel down in the dumps. Why? asked Frog. I'm thinking about tomorrow, said Toad. I'm thinking about all the things I'll have to do tomorrow. Yes, said Frog. Tomorrow will be a very hard day for you. But Frog, said Toad, if I pick up my pants and jacket right now, then I won't have to pick them up tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog, you won't. Toad picked up his clothes. He put them in the closet. Frog, said Toad, if I wash my dishes right now, then I won't have to wash them tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog, you won't. Toad washed and dried his dishes. He put them in the cupboard. Frog, said Toad, if I dust my chairs and scrub my windows and water my plants right now, then I won't have to do it tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog, you won't. Toad dusted his chairs, he scrubbed his windows, he watered his plants. There, said Toad, now I feel better. I'm not in the dumps any more. Why? asked Frog. Because I've done all that work, said Toad. Now I can save tomorrow for something that I really want to do. What is that? asked Frog. Tomorrow, said Toad, I can just take life easy. Toad went back to bed. He pulled the covers over his head and fell asleep. The End Days with Frog and Toad, The Kite.
frog and toad went out to fly a kite. They went to a large meadow where the wind was strong. Our kite will fly up and up, said Frog. It will fly all the way up to the top of the sky. Toad, said Frog. I will hold the ball of string. You hold the kite and run. Toad ran across the meadow. He ran as fast as his short legs could carry him. The kite went up in the air. It fell to the ground with a bump. Toad heard laughter. Three robins were sitting in a bush. That kite will not fly, said the robins. You may as well give up. Toad ran back to Frog. Frog, said Toad, this kite will not fly. I give up. We must make a second try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head. Perhaps that will make it fly. Toad ran back across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. The kite went up in the air and then fell down with a thud. What a joke, said the robins. That kite will never get off the ground. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is a joke, he said. It will never get off the ground. We have to make a third try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head and jump up and down. Perhaps that will make it fly. Toad ran across the meadow again. He waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down. The kite went up in the air and crashed down into the grass. That kite is junk, said the robins. Throw it away and go home. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is junk, he said. I think we should throw it away and go home. Toad, said Frog, we need one more try. Wave the kite over your head, jump up and down, and shout, Up, kite, up! Toad ran across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down. He shouted, Up, kite, up! The kite flew into the air. It climbed higher and higher. We did it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. If a running try did not work, and a running and waving try did not work, and a running, waving, and jumping try did not work, I knew that a running, waving, jumping, and shouting try just had to work. The robins flew out of the bush, but they could not fly as high as the kite. Frog and Toad sat and watched their kite. It seemed to be flying way up at the top of the sky. The End Days with Frog and Toad Shivers The night was cold and dark. Listen to the wind Howling in the trees, said Frog. What a fine time for a ghost story. Toad moved deeper into his chair. Toad, asked Frog, don't you like to be scared? Don't you like to feel the shivers? I'm not too sure, said Toad. Frog made a fresh pot of tea. He sat down and began a story. When I was small, said Frog, my mother and father and I went out for a picnic. On the way home, we lost our way. My mother was worried. We must get home, she said. We don't want to meet the old dark frog. Who's that? I asked. A terrible ghost, said my father. He comes out at night and eats little frog children for supper. Toad sipped his tea. Frog, he asked, are you making this up? Maybe yes, and maybe no, said Frog. My mother and father went to search for a path, said Frog. They told me to wait until they came back. I sat under a tree and waited. 
The woods became dark. I was afraid. Then I saw two huge eyes. It was the old dark frog. He was standing near me. Frog, asked Toad, did this really happen? Maybe it did, and maybe it didn't, said Frog. Frog went on with the story. The dark frog pulled a jump rope out of his pocket. I'm not hungry now, said the dark frog. I've eaten too many tasty frog children, but after I jump rope one hundred times, I'll be hungry again, then I'll eat you. The dark frog tied one end of the rope to a tree. Turn for me, he shouted. I turned the rope for the dark frog. He jumped twenty times. I'm beginning to get hungry said the dark frog. He jumped fifty times. I'm getting hungrier, said the dark frog. He jumped ninety times. I'm very hungry now, said the dark frog. What happened then? asked Toad. I had to save my life, said Frog. I ran around and around the tree with the rope, I tied up the old dark frog. He roared and screamed. I ran away fast. I found my mother and father, said Frog. We came safely home. Frog, asked Toad, was that a true story? Maybe it was, and maybe it wasn't, said Frog. Frog and Toad sat close by the fire. They were scared. The teacups shook in their hands. They were having the shivers. It was a good, warm feeling. The end.